Hello, my name is Mr. Polk and welcome to my kitchen. Today we'd like to take a look at uh, doing some braised vegetables, okay? Where we're going to saute them, then we're going to deglaze them, and then we're going to just um, simmer them in a little bit of a liquid until they're tender. And we're going to use two root vegetables today. We're going to use a carrot and then we're going to use another member of the, of the root family, uh, the parsnip, okay? And you're going to peel those and slice them up. You're going to slice them in quarter inch slices like a rondelle except you're going to do what we call on the biased. Rather than cutting them like this perpendicular, you're going to turn your knife at like a 45 and you're going to get these little biased chips. Okay? So that way we'll do that. And then the other vegetable we're going to use today that's a little different is the shallot. Shall I, I shall. The shallot. And the shallot's a member of the onion family and it's its own thing. Some people think it's like a, a crossbreed between the, the, the uh, garlic and the onion, but it, it's its own thing. It has a little stronger flavor than the onion. It has kind of a garlicky type flavor. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and cut that up into a brunoise. And, you know, dodge a wrench, dodge a ball, it's the same thing. You cut an onion, you cut a shallot, you're going to cut it in half. Cut the stem end off, go like this, cut like that, um, and there you go. So now what we'd like to do is go ahead and take a look at start braising these guys. Okay, so let's take a look at cooking our vegetables. We got some clarified butter in here. We left it heat up a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and put in our parsnips and our carrots. And we're just going to start to saute them. And we're going to braise. So the first thing we're going to do is saute. And we're just going to do this until they start to get a nice color on them. Okay. So they're obviously, you know, nice big pieces, which means that when they cook down, they're still going to be a really good size. So we're just going to go ahead and saute these guys and keep doing it until they start to get brown. So now we let them saute for a little bit and you can see that they're really starting to get some nice color to them. The parsnips, they're starting to caramelize a little bit. That's going to add to the flavor depth. So what we're going to do is temporarily take these out. Okay. So we're going to temporarily just transfer them to a little bowl here. Okay, and then while we do that, then we're going to put in the shallots. When you do the shallots, you'll probably need just a, a touch more butter, maybe a teaspoon. And then go ahead and put your shallots in. And they're going to cook quick. But here's what I want you to see. This is, I, just, um, I love the deglaze. Um, this is a different type of deglazing. Rather than deglazing with deglazing liquid, we use the shallots or onions or whatever it is you have. And you notice that as I'm going around, the onions are starting to pick up the flavor bits um, that were left behind from the parsnips and from the carrots. So you're just going to work your way around. And we don't really want to brown brown these. We just want to try to soften them a little bit. So you just want to cook them for a little. Uh, you can see that they're starting to get some really nice color. We just didn't put them in at the same time with the parsnips and the carrots because they would overcook. So after these soften for a little and they start to pick up, some color. Then what we're going to do is uh, one of my favorite parts in cooking and that is deglazing the pan. Um, I really enjoy deglazing. I think it's important uh, to be able to deglaze and get that flavor off of the bottom. Okay. So now we've got the, the shallots looking nice. And then what we're going to do is return our carrots because before I deglaze I want to give the carrots a chance to pick up any of those good flavorings from the pan too. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and deglaze. We're going to use two liquids in this one. We got a, a vegetable stock and we've got cider. So I'm going to start with about one cup, all right, of uh, vegetable stock. And you just put in about a little bit of it and it's going to sizzle, sazzle, look at that. And then what you're going to do with your spatulas once it sizzles out of the way is scrape the bottom of the pan, all right, and that's deglazing at its finest getting all of those bits off the bottom of the pan. That's where your flavor comes from. Now we're going to braise. So now we're going to put in the rest of the stock. Okay. If you put in too much, all it does is takes the heat from the pan and it just sits. But when you deglaze, you pour a little bit to get that sizzle sazzle going and it's going to release. And then we put in our cider and we're going to bring this to a simmer. And we're just going to let this simmer until our vegetables are nice and tender. Now to add some flavor, because we haven't really flavored yet, 
we're going to drop two bay leaves in here. Okay, it's going to give you some flavor. And then we're also going to put in six sprigs of thyme. So we're not going to do like with the salad. We're not going to dice it or anything. We're just going to put it in like this, and the flavor is going to come out of the thyme. So what you're going to do is let that cook. It's going to come to a boil, then take it down to a simmer, and then we can put a lid on it, and we're simply going to go ahead and let it simmer until the veggies are nice and fork tender, okay? Okay, so now that they've been uh, simmering for a little while, let's take a look. Oh, look at that. Oh, if you could smell that. What you want to do is you want to take out your thyme, okay, because I was just put in there to get the flavor. Some of the leaves may have come off, but it's not about uh, keeping them in. And then make sure you take out the bay leaves for sure because they have a tendency that they'll still be hard yet and you wouldn't want to bite into those. And now you can see that our, our veggies have softened uh, kind of to al dente where they still have, you know, a little bit left to them. They're not totally mushy. They're staying together. And what you're going to do is bring the vegetables to the outside. And notice the liquid has really reduced. And what you're going to do is while it's just on a, a low flame here, you're just going to go ahead and put in your unsalted butter. Okay. And you're just going to kind of melt that around just to make, just to sort of thicken the sauce. If I get those two clumps there separate. Okay. So we're going to stir those around just to melt them. And then once they start to melt, then we're going to go ahead and add in some Dijon mustard to give it just a little bit more flavor. So we're going to stir that around. Butter is just about gone. This is about a, a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. We're going to give that a stir, and that's going to really make for a, a nice little thin sauce there. And then just bring everything together. Okay, that looks great. And then the last little piece of the puzzle here is uh, if you want, you can season with a little bit of kosher salt. Okay. And you can put in a little bit of pepper. Okay. Now, let's take a look at what this looks like plated. Okay, so to finish this, we're just going to... Uh, take our vegetables and we'll put them in a bowl whether it's to be served as a side or uh, to be served as a, a family style and you just want to you know make sure you have a little bit of everything the, the smell I mean between the little bit of Dijon and um, all of the, the the flavors from the thyme and from the bay leaf I mean this just smells great and then what you're going to do is you're going to finish them by just putting on just a, a little bit of, of freshly minced parsley like that and then you can also add some of the the sauce that we made okay which has really thickened nicely from the the butter and the fact that it reduced so remember this is reduced from all of the flavors and uh so, and all of all of the stock so it's, it's not like a soup, we're just putting a nice, so this is like a, a really nice butter sauce that's going on here. And then if you want, you could even finish it with a little bit more parsley. And there you go. So now you can see a different way to make uh, carrots, and we also added another root vegetable with the carrot, the parsnip. So now you have on here, you have the yellow of the parsnip, and you also have the orange of the carrot. So... Thank you for cooking with me today, and I can't wait to cook with you real soon right here in Mr. Polk's kitchen.